Welcome back to Therani, I'm Joe B. If you click this video, then you are curious to know the difference between atlanto-occipital and atlanto atrial joint mechanics. Let's dive in. For the joint anatomy, your atlanto-occipital or AO joint is the joint formed by the convex occipital condyles of the skull and the concave superior articular facets of C1 or atlas. It is composed of two synovial joints which allows primarily flexion and extension as well as a few degrees of rotation and lateral flexion. In short, it allows nodding movements between the head and the atlas. On the other hand, your atlanto or AA joint is formed by the convex dense and the concave median articulation of the atlas, as well as the superior articular facets of the axis and the inferior articular facets of the atlas. It consists of three synovial joints, which allows primarily rotation and lateral flexion, as well as a few degrees of flexion and extension. For the joint mechanics, for atlanto-occipital flexion, the occipital condyles roll forward and slide backward. In contrast, during atlanto-occipital extension, the occipital condyles roll backward but slide forward. Rotation and lateral flexion motions are extremely limited by the tension of the joint capsule, so no need to discuss the kinematics on those regions. For atlanto axial rotation to the right during right neck rotation, the left-sided inferior facets of the atlas slide forward and inward, while the right-sided inferior facets slide backward and inward. The atlas pivots 45 degrees to the right and is limited for further rotation by the alar ligaments. Due to this, the rest of the rotation to the right occurs at the lower cervical segments. The opposite occurs with atlanto left rotation during left neck rotation. The right-sided inferior facets of the atlas slide forward and inward, while the left-sided inferior facets of the atlas slide backward and inward. The atlas also pivots 45 degrees to the left. If the neck is in a neutral position, which means it is neither flexed or extended, then neck rotation to the right will be coupled with left side bending. At the same rate, neck rotation to the left will be coupled by right side bending. However, if the neck is flexed, then rotation to the right will be coupled by same side bending to the right side. In contrast, rotation to the left will be coupled by side bending to the same left side. This same mechanics is applicable during neck extension. To make it easier for you to remember, if the neck is in neutral position, rotation will be coupled with opposite direction side bending. If the neck is either flexed or extended, rotation will be coupled with same direction side bending. If you like this video, please like, share, and comment. And for more therapy animations, please subscribe to Therani.